Hello, KM4MKL here. This video is a discussion of the crossband repeater function available on the ICOM 2730 uh, transceiver. The purpose of using a crossband feature on a transceiver such as this is to allow you to use a low power transmitter for a handheld transceiver, for example, to re reach uh, stations that would not be possible with the, trans with the mobile transceiver itself. My mobile transceiver, for example, has a 5 watt output, which is not enough to reach most repeaters that are distant. However, my ICOM here has a 50 watt maximum output, and if I set up the repeater, the crossband repeater correctly, my the signal from my handheld can be transmitted through this unit, and I can utilize the 50 watts maximum power, thereby greatly extending the range I can reach with my handheld transceiver. I'm setting this up because I want to be able to access distant repeaters and other distant stations from my home. Um, for example, using my handheld while I'm sitting on the couch in my living room. This could also be useful if you're into hiking or other outdoor activities and you want to be able to use your handheld to, re to reach distant stations. You could use your vehicle as a middleman, uh, so to say. Uh, two uh, interesting points about the crossband repeater function on this unit radio. The first is that this feature is not activated by default. There's a special procedure that you have to go through to activate this feature, which we'll discuss here shortly. The second point to understand is that the printed manual that comes with this unit does not explain the crossband repeater function at all. Uh, there is an addendum on ICOM's website Clicking the link below, you can access this addendum, which explains how to use this feature in brief. The addendum is kind of vague, so hopefully this video will shed some light on that subject. So before you try to access this function, you have to you have to add the option into the menu hierarchy. The way you do this is you have to have the radio turned off. With the radio turned off, you hold in both of the main buttons and the monitor button simultaneously. So these two corner buttons and the far left center button holding them in simultaneously with the radio off. You turn the radio on while those three buttons are being held in. I'm not going to demonstrate this on this radio because this radio has already been set up to use the crossband repeater function. Once you add this to the menu hierarchy it's a one time thing that has to be done. Unless you do a full reset on the radio, the menu option will be available from that point forward. So after you've a activated the feature and made it available in the menu, the first thing you have to do is enter the frequencies into the main screen that you want to use for the repeater function. In this case, on the right hand side is the, frequency, the uplink frequency for the crossband repeater. So the 440 megahertz in this example is going to be the frequency that I'm using on my handheld to transmit uh, to send transmissions to the to this unit and for this unit to send transmissions back to the handheld. On the left hand side I have the output frequency set up. This happens to be a nearby amateur repeater up in a mountaintop that I want to access. And you will notice that I already have the duplexing offset and the tone set up on the left hand side of the screen here since that's required for that particular repeater. On the right hand side I suppose you could add tones to the uh, both the handheld and the repeater in the unit here rather but I've decided not to do that in this case. You can select these frequencies by pulling up a memory as I have for this repeater or by entering it directly through the VFO function as I have on the right. One thing to note is that generally on the uplink frequency, the 440 megahertz in this particular case, you don't want to use the lowest power setting possible. Uh, there's two reasons for that. First of all, it's uh, required by FCC regulations that we use the lowest possible transmitting power to reach a station. Uh, generally, I'm going to be, have my vehicle and my driveway and I'm going to be sitting in my couch inside the house accessing the crossband repeater. In that case I don't need 50 watts to communicate between the two vehicles which are 
you know, 50 feet apart. Uh, I might use a higher setting if I were hiking, for example, uh, but only for that were necessary. So, as you can see on the right hand side, I have set the power to low, which I believe on this transceiver is approximately 12 watts instead of the full 50 watts. However, on the left hand side, I have uh, selected the highest power setting, the full 50 watts, because this trend, this repeater is a good distance away from my home. So it's legal and appropriate to use a higher power setting. So after all this is set up, you can activate the feature by hitting the menu key. If necessary, turn this one of these dials to go to the EX menu, hit enter, and go to others. Now if you set up the unit to access this new function by hitting the two main buttons and the monitor button as we discussed earlier, you have a new feature in here that says RPTM. That's, a, that's the crossband repeater function. So in this menu here, that function will not be available unless you added it manually. So if we get into this feature by hitting the memory right button, the enter button, there's an option to the start. Hit that button to say start. We scroll over to yes using the knob and hit enter. This places the unit into the crossband repeater mode. Once it's in this mode, it cannot function uh, in any capacity except to, to act as a repeater. Uh, you can't transmit, uh, for example, or anything like that without deactivating this feature. So, how it, with how it is now, if I transmit on my handheld or any other any other um, frequency for that matter, the repeater, this unit will receive the signal and immediately re, uh, retransmit the signal at 50 watts on 146.94. Uh, likewise, any signals that are received on this left-hand frequency will be immediately retransmitted to my handheld on 440 megahertz. Do keep in mind that you cannot uh, enter two frequencies that are on the same band. So if I'm using a 2 meter distant repeater, for example, I have to use a 70 centimeter oblique frequency. Likewise, if I'm trying to access a 70 centimeter repeater on the left hand side here, I have to use an uplink frequency that's in the 2 meter band, uh, hence the name crossband repeater. Uh, once I'm done using this feature, I can exit the feature by hitting the menu key, turning the dial to yes and hitting enter, and I'll be back in the main screen and I can use the normal functions of the transceiver. I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them or to find the answer for you. Until then, this is KM4MKL, 73's to you and good day.